What is up you guys back here with a new video and I want to get my final prediction to UFC 277 Of course the main event we have the rematch between the ladies between Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunes uh, That fight should be interesting. I hope it is and I think it will be um, And then in the corner main event we have Brandon Moreno taking on Kai Cora France 2 um, That should be fun for the flyweight title for the interim flyweight title of course and, um, yeah, man, before I get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. Really would appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, man, let's dive right in. So, again, the main event, um, the rematch between the ladies. Um, Juliana with the biggest upset that she have done ever in her career. You know, beating Amanda Nunes in a time where Amanda Nunes, we all thought that, you know, the quote. I mean, she still is. Um... You know, it's going to be interesting to see the, uh, what she's going to do for this fight. Both ladies, you know, um, you know, both ladies were on the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, the season was all right. It wasn't, if you watched it, you would know that it was all right. It wasn't all that. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. So I think for this fight, I think, like I said already, um, Amanda Nunes just has to be composed, fight like she's been fighting before she fought Juliana. I feel like, you know, she reverted back to her old self a little bit when it comes to uh, fighting Juliana and just being in the pocket, you know. Um, you know, she needs to be composed, save that stamina, use that stamina whenever she can and not just go out crazy and try to, you know, knock Juliana out. Um, you know, cause I, I think Amanda is a great fighter. I feel like she can beat Juliana, especially in the hands. She just has to be more uh, strategic with her hands and put the work in like that because Juliana is just going to wait until she gets a little tired and uh, I think and she's going to go and try to take her down after that like she did in the in the first fight um for Juliana Pena um for her to win she just kind of had to do what she kind of did the last time I mean she she showed that she had a great chin you know fighting um Amanda Nunes Amanda Nunes most of the time girls that get hit with those type of punches that she was getting hit with you know will go down and the fight will be over but Juliana's showing the heart and determination that she want to be champ, you know. Um, so this fight's going to really show that if she wants to stay as champ, she's going to have to have a great game plan to uh, beat Amanda Nunes. Because Amanda Nunes is a tough girl, man. So is Juliana. I, I still, even though, like, they both have great jiu-jitsu, but I think Juliana is a little more slicker when it comes to her jiu-jitsu, you know. Um... Again, I feel like for Juliana, kind of same. Again, do kind of like the same thing she did this the first time around. Um, get Amanda to overexert herself, get her tired, and then work from there. Look for the takedowns because if she's trying to go for the takedown early uh, without Amanda being kind of tired, it's, I think it's gonna be tough. I mean, she hurt Amanda on the feet as well, so it's, it wasn't like she her you know her hands don't look the best, you know, but she definitely got um, some advantage over. You know, like, having that heart. I mean, Amanda has that heart, too. I'm not saying she doesn't. But, um, you know, because that first fight was surprising that she was just willing to be in the pocket with Amanda Nunes. Not a lot of girls want to be in the pocket with, with Amanda just because of the power alone and what she brings to the table when she uses her hands. You know, and the jiu-jitsu, she does get to the ground. But I think when it comes to jiu-jitsu-wise, um, I think Juliana's a little more slicker, you know, she might be the smaller girl out of the fight, but I think her jiu-jitsu is a little more slicker than Amanda Nunes. You know, because the last couple of times I've seen Amanda, you know, like, the only time Amanda, I feel like, used her jiu-jitsu for the most part, besides, you know, getting, you know, knocking the person down and getting a submission through that, you know, the only time I ever seen her really do it was against, uh, what's her, what's that girl's name? I forgot her name. I don't, I don't think it was Liz Carmouche. It was probably, you know, I think it was Jermaine Duran to me. That she fought and she did a whole bunch of takedowns, you know. But, um, yeah, man. I think for this fight, and both ladies follow a good game plan, um, they any one of them can get the victory. I'm not even going to choose. But I'm, I'm going to choose just for the sake of it, and hopefully I'm not wrong. Uh, I'm going to go with Juniana for the upset again, and I really am. You know, I want her to, to, to kind of win, you know. Not just so like oh damn man it's a one hit, you know she, you know cause, you know if she loses people are gonna be like well, you know, 
it was a mental off day. You know, this is going to be, this Remy Martia is going to settle a lot of things for uh, Juliana. So if she gets the victory, um, she definitely, that's, it's going to go a long way towards um, everybody giving her some respect. Um, you guys let me know down in the comment section. What do you guys think of the fight and who you guys think is going to win? Um, Cold main event, Brandon Moreno versus Kai Carl friends for the interim flyweight title. I think this is going to be a fantastic fight. Um, Brandon Moreno, great fighter. I just didn't like the last time he fought um, against Davidson Figueroa. I, I, yeah, I feel like the hunger kind of died a little bit when he won the title. And hopefully right now since he lost, that hunger comes back, you know, and he keeps that hunger, you know, and fights um, Kai Carl France. The first fight was fantastic. Great, great stand-up fight. Three-round war they had. Um, but uh, Moreno in that fight ended up making the adjustments on Kai Carl France. You know, once the second and, and third round started coming around, he already made the adjustments. Um... I, I still feel like Kai got the power advantage, in a sense, you know, um, but Brandon Moreno has the wrestling, for sure, you know, um, if Moreno, I think for Moreno in this fight, he's going to have to just mix it up, man, I mean, he, he did great with the hands the first time around, so if that works the same way he did the first time, then be my guess, um, but... If it doesn't, if things starts to go a little sideways, I feel like he just needs to start using his wrestling. Um, get Kai down, get him tired, work him, you know, win those rounds like that. Maybe, you know, um, you know, yeah, just work Kai, you know, make him make him wrestle or make him think that he's gonna be wrestling. So, you know, he can be timid with his hands and then you come out with yours or whatnot. Use that jab. Brandon Moreno has a fantastic jab, an awkward jab. You know, use that jab, um, you know, so it's just like, you know, I think for Moreno, I think Moreno is going to pull the upset again anyways. Well, not the upset, but he's going to win, Kai, beat Kai Kara France. But again, Kai Kara France is, is no slouch either. He's a phenomenal fighter, um, great kickboxer. Uh, the only guy to get a knockout in that season of the Ultimate Fighter he was on, you know. So I think, you know, again, Kai Kara France, crazy power. Um, never quit, never die attitude uh, when he fights. So when he fights, it's always fantastic. Um, I feel like for this fight, though, he's going to have to definitely um, possibly look at the first fight and see uh, what he did wrong and and uh, what he needs to make to make the adjustments against Brandon Moreno. You know, because Brandon fights kind of long, even though he's not the longest person, but he, he fights long, you know, so I think Moreno's going to have to work to get around the... Uh, the way um, Moreno uses his range and this because he uses his range and it, it, he looks long, but he's not really that long. So I think if he can get on the inside, work Moreno that way, um, I think it would be a good fight for him and he could possibly win, win in that fashion, possibly get a stoppage. Both guys can get a stoppage against each other. Um, so yeah, but for my choose, I'm going to go with Brandon Moreno. You guys let me know down in the comment section who you guys got and... Um, Make sure to leave those comments down in the comment section, guys. Really would appreciate it. If you guys like the video, make sure to throw those thumbs up. Really would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.